Hey guys, I'm back this week and it's not a flower and it's actually not even a layout or a card. So if you've ever thought I want to give something a little bit more than a card, this is something that you can make and if you think about the time you take on a card, this is really not going to take you that long and it's really a cute little thank you gift or just a little sentiment you can send somebody. And what I'm starting out with is a 12 by 12 piece of paper. Okay, so you do need a 12 by 12 piece of paper, and we are going to turn that into a birdhouse. Now what is so cool about this is you can open it up and fill it up with little candies or some sort of little gift that you'd like to do, buttons if it's a scrapbooking friend or something, and give that as a gift with a stamped thank you on it or um, congrats or whatever you want to put um, on the little birdhouse. So, starting with your 12 by 12 paper, you need to make it a grid of two inches by two inches. So I'm hoping, maybe if I turn out my light. Um, I've started by making lines two inches across this way. And I'm going to hope that we can see what I'm doing here. I just lay my ruler across and make tick marks every two inches. Two, four, six, eight, ten. Put my paper over, do the same thing on this side, okay? Four, six, eight, ten. Then connect those little ticks that you've made and cross, strip, or make a line across all the way down your sheet. Okay, so you end up with a grid. Um, ah, the lighting is really bad, but you guys, I, I'm going to have pictures of every step on my blog, so go there to see. Okay, so once once you've got your grid, um, draw out this pattern. Now you're going to have to probably go to my blog to get a better look at this or to save this picture so that you can um, copy this for yourself. But once you have the grid, just write in it the different parts that you're going to want and um, draw out little tabs. That's all I did. Okay, so the, the dotted spots are fold spots and the solid lines are cut lines. So it's very simple. Once you've got this, cut, whoops, cut, and I use my cutter. Um, the shape out, okay? So once I've cut the shape out, I'm going to use my cutter here um, and put in the score, the little black one, okay? So I'm going to score on all those dotted lines that you saw, and this is going to be kind of a sporadic video, I can tell, but hopefully you can follow. Uh, Rewatch it if you need, or just go to the blog for pictures, if it's probably the easiest. Probably half of you are already at the blog, so just scroll down and um, score on the dotted lines, okay? So once you've got that, you just need to start folding those pre-scored edges in, okay? So folding them all in. Oops. And it's really easy once you've scored it. Grab yourself a fairly quick adhesive, I like the tacky glue, and glue on the pattern side of your tabs, okay? No, not the inside, but the pattern side of your tabs is where the glue is going. So I'm just going to do that real quick. Put this down. And my glue is running out. I've got another tube somewhere. Okay, so I got the glue going on the pattern sides. Okay, so once you have that, you're gonna fold those tabs under the next edge. So you're folding it into a box now, and fold it till it will stay. It doesn't take too long with the tacky glue. A hot glue gun, even quicker, okay? Probably even a better idea, especially if you're doing a video. <laughs> okay, do the same thing on the other side. Fold those tabs into your box so that you're not showing the seam. Oops, my other side fell out here. Okay, so basically I have a box now and the rest of it is going to come together really quickly. 
Okay, so here is my flap, which I cut a little, oops, my screen's down here, but I cut a little rounded edge for the flap to come down, okay? Now I have my roof, which I'm just going to, I've got three pieces to the roof, simply because I'm gonna glue on this side and attach it like that, okay? So let me just put some glue real quick. There you have the basic frame for your birdhouse. Simple, simple, and super cute. Okay, now what I like to do is cut out a roof, and um, you want it to be two inches again by this time um, by five inches and then fold it in half, okay? So I've got myself a roof that I'm just going to glue straight on top, and it hangs over to give that little overhang look. And here, I have used Martha Stewart lace punch, edge, edge punch, and created the look of shingles by layering strips of punched paper out for my roof. Okay, now if you want to add the ribbon, just cut a hole, I'm not going to this time for this one, in the top of here and slip your ribbon in before you glue it on your birdhouse, okay? Now a cute thing to do on the flap is to put a little brad. Now you don't want, you can adhere this down with a glue dot, but not until obviously you've filled your box with your treat or whatever. So I'm gonna just quick here grab a brad, I think a black one because my roof is black, and I'm gonna pop it in real quick, center, and flatten it out. You see I've got that little, looks kind of like the hole that the bird would go in or, well if you had a bigger one, or um, the little stick that would come out that a bird would stand on. Then I'm just going to throw some glue on my roof. And stick it to the birdhouse. How cute is that? With this one I didn't do any stamping, but this one is really, you can't really see the, the color very well. It's purple and black. So go to my blog to see the finished product. Uh, I think you'll really like it and enjoy making it. They're great little gifts. So here is, again, I found this little bird at Dollarama. I think they still have them, so you can run and grab that. And um, a stamped roof is really pretty. And here's one without using the edge punch. Still gorgeous with some stamps there. This is a stamp set that um, I still have for sale. I have one left if you are interested. Uh, so just scroll down for information about that. But try it out. And until next time, um, keep crafty. <laughs> Bye.